Okay guys, so I told you I'd do a, a video kind of walking around the new Mustang. And we'll just take a walk around, look at the outside. It's all original. Uh, this color in Ford is called Red Candy. It's a 2010. The 2010 is a unique car simply because it has the new rear end and the new body but the old 4.6 engine that I am familiar with instead of the 5.0. Not as powerful but it's an engine that I understand and have obviously worked on. So this is what she looks like. I've got a I think you can see it in the video, but I've got a little mark there. That's touch-up paint that I have not buffed yet. Um, anyway, that's a look at the outside. Let me open it up, and you can take a look at the inside. The, uh, the car was bought new in California at a dealership in Southern California and I have 55 records all the way through the 93,000 miles that it has on it uh, and it was serviced all the time at the same dealership and I have all of those records in the Carfax and yes it is an automatic which is okay getting to the point where I need one anyway but uh, we'll take a look under the hood okay everybody we're back in the garage it's the next day because I lost all my footage of the engine outside and my my video of outside I'm not real happy with either because it was early morning uh, but here is the jewel box and um, I've done a bunch of work in here. Uh, I put the Roush cold air intake in, which I had something I didn't intend on doing, but I think it looks better than the stock one. Uh, everything in here is basically stock, with the exception of the jewel pieces. Um, all the billet uh, covers for all the fluids, the billet cover for the uh, fuse box, I have the caps that go over the strut towers, which I had to modify to fit over the uh, brace, which was standard on the car. I have the uh, battery cover. I have the cover for the uh, brake booster. I've polished everything under here, all the edge, all the under part of the hood here. I cleaned the uh, insulation, which is in very good shape, by the way. Um, I put the uh, lift struts on so we no longer have to use a prop rod. Cleaned everything in here, put the billet, the little billet bolts and washer heads all up and down the fender wells and every place I could use them, including the hold downs for the uh, antifreeze. Um, and the bolts for the uh, hood release there and you probably already saw them up here all the stickers under the hood and everything that came with the car are still intact um, and, and as you can see if we go this way you can see that the headlights even the tops of the clear part of the headlights there is super shiny on both sides and everything just, just looks really good. I think I may have mentioned it in one of the other videos that I did that um, there's no corrosion spots or anything on any of the uh, aluminum on this engine, which is very unusual for uh, uh, these 4.6s. But if I can back up far enough here, there's the engine compartment.
Okay, what you're listening to here is the Roush Axlebacks. Uh, they're a relatively on a on a five-speed car. They would be relatively loud on the automatic. They're not very loud because the automatic doesn't rev up as high as the uh, five-speed unless you force it to do so, which you can. Uh, by the way, this car had almost every available option. Not all the options, but almost. You can see that it has a different spoiler on the back if you're familiar with the 2010. They had kind of a flat spoiler on them. The reason this has a tall spoiler is because it has the uh, navigation system and the backup camera, the electronics package. Uh, so it has a little smaller ducktail than the one that I had on the bullet, but it's a ducktail type spoiler. Uh, everything on the car is original the way I got the car, including that, which I won't take off. I am planning on tinting that window, the other window, or the back window, and the eyebrow across the top of the windshield, but not the side windows. I can't stand tinting on the side windows. I have already ordered a set of uh, wheels from American Muscle. They're, they are a uh, charcoal gloss stainless looking wheel. Uh, they'll be here on Saturday and I'll get those on and I'll show you those later once I get those on the car. The only other mechanical thing I need to do is, uh, is have the uh, front rotors turned. It has a little pulsing in the brake. I did get all the clunking taken care of in the front with uh, sway bar bushings and a tie rod in. Uh, in the back, I just got done. I would put new shocks on the back. It already had the new struts on the front. Uh, I just got done putting sway bar, all the sway bar bushings on the back as well as the new shocks. Uh, I did put one, I, I put half inch lowering springs on the back. We can go around the we can go around the other side here. It's more instead of lowering, it's really a leveling uh, issue. It was a leveling issue. The car set up high in the back. Of course, it's sitting on the driveway now. But the uh, the half inch lowering springs on the back leveled the car, as opposed to looking like a stink bug with the back end sticking up in the air. But there you go. This is probably going to be called Lisa 2, but I don't know yet. But uh, that's it on the Mustang.